Neva Zoltek with the Idaho New 6 forecast. Welcome back. It was a beautiful day in Sun Valley today. Taking a look at this quick time lapse, you can see that there weren't a lot of clouds happening in central Idaho today, but I do want to draw your attention to just how dry that landscape was. It was just last week that we had a lot more of that green color sticking around, and that's showing you that we are really getting into fire season with those conditions that are critical for making a fire happen. So right now, we do have a fire weather warning going on through this evening until 9 p.m. because of some of the wind that's being pushed into our area from some low pressure heading northward and northward and some high pressure sticking around closer to our valley. So that is creating some wind conditions and on top of that it's of course hot out there and it's starting to get dry. So that's really the recipe for creating some fire and that's why we've already got fires going on especially up there near Salmon, Idaho and I know that's quite a big fire and toward the south of us there in Nevada. So really this is the time of year when our fire weather is starting to shift and go through some spurts of uh, elevated risk and that's what we're seeing today and that's why we have that red flag warning in effect. So speaking of wind, this is kind of the gusts that we're looking at in the Treasure Valley. Gusts up to 15 miles per hour, maybe in the 20 mile per hour range. Of course, that is going to die down by the time we hit later this evening and early tomorrow morning, but tomorrow afternoon, those breezy conditions are going to come back and we're going to see a return of that wind. Very similar with our wind speeds. Of course, those are going to be less extreme than the wind gusts but we are going to see a fluctuation tomorrow uh, afternoon going down and then going back up in the afternoon. So in the morning is when we're, we'll stop to we'll stop seeing some wind is tomorrow morning and then the afternoon it'll return. In terms of temperature, another thing that we're closely monitoring, we've got hotter than normal conditions expected for the next two weeks throughout the entire country pretty much. And in our neck of the woods, look at how red we are right now. Hotter than normal conditions really expected, especially to the uh, in Eastern Oregon and in the Boise region, but pretty much throughout the state, we're going to continue to see hotter than normal weather. So that's not the best news, but hopefully we can keep our fires under containment this time of year. So tomorrow, another hot day, not as hot as it has been. I know those temperatures before they get to the 100 degree mark do seem to feel a little bit cooler. 91 degrees in Idaho City tomorrow. On this Saturday, it will be a great time to get up, and up into the mountains if you can and get a little bit of a break. 86 degrees tomorrow there in McCall and 83 degrees tomorrow in Stanley. So up in the mountains, we are going to see a little bit of a reprieve from these super hot conditions that we're seeing in the Treasure Valley. Now this weekend, it is going to be hot and sunny and you're going to want to do all that you can to stay cool, find a good plan to get um, get in front of an AC unit if you can, and then of course limit outdoor exertion, especially the hottest time of the day, which is typically in the evening. So we've got 97 degrees basically Saturday and Sunday this week. Enjoy it while you can because because after that, we're going to see that triple digit heat return Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So really excessive heat for the extended forecast. Remember, a fire could start and spread rapidly, especially if we have the winds just because of the dry and hot conditions. So just be careful. Try not to let any sparks go flying this weekend. Stay safe and stay cool.